Kevin Durant gets a crack at his former team. Again, the Warriors shorthanded, no Steph Curry. But the Nets didn't have Kyrie Irving. By the way, Golden State without Klay Thompson and Andrew Wiggins in this basketball game. And let's just say that is just too much to overcome for the Warriors. Kevin Durant and Brooklyn look good. Good G-O-O-D-T in this basketball game, specifically the first half. You saw KD get some buckets. How about Edmund Summers putting a deuce in? And just like that, the Nets already got 44 points in the first quarter. Warriors played an awful game. There was one bright spot. Former number two overall pick in the 2020 draft. James Wiseman had the best game of his career, honestly. It came in a lot of meaningless minutes, but how about 12 or 14 from the field? 30 points for Wiseman. But that was the only bright spot for the Warriors because Brooklyn just embarrassed Golden State. Look at Ben Simmons throwing down the old alley-oop. Kevin Durant's new team putting it on his old team. He's part of the putting it on. Kevin Durant with the crossover and the deuce. And then KD, a little don't mind if I do, on his former man, Draymond Green. The Nets dropped a franchise record 91 points in the first half. This game is emphatically over. Durant still going to work. He probably should be out of the game right now. <laughs> you didn't get Steph Curry in this highlight, but hey, I got you one Curry. How about Seth knocking down a three and then dishing it to Patty Mills, who knocks down a three as well. TJ Warren making his entry into the highlight in his Brooklyn blowout. Kevin Durant had 23 points, seven rebounds, five assists. Would have had more, but it wasn't needed. And here's another Golden State highlight with Steve Kerr looking cluelessly into space as his team gets blown out back-to-back -back nights in New York, this time by 30. Before the great content with Hoops Pharaoh continues, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel at Hoops Pharaoh. Our goal is 100,000 subscribers ASAP. Your subscription takes this platform to the next level. Subscribe now. Kevin Durant had some interesting comments about the Golden State Warriors, your reigning NBA champs. He recently said, I can't lie, watching the finals, I knew so many people would turn their focus on me once they won. I was like, I hate that they won because y'all not going to make it about them. It's going to be all about me. I think it's just a childish way of looking at the experience, I feel like you could take it all in and appreciate what they and not even talk about me. I was just sitting at home, but I get how it is. So KD admitted that he was kind of rooting against the Golden State Warriors in the playoffs because he figured the championship would be more about him not being there and the Warriors still getting it done. I actually don't think that was the biggest storyline coming out of the Warriors championship. I think it was secondary. I think that the biggest thing was how great Steph Curry was. I think Steph Curry trumped the Kevin Durant storyline. I do believe KD was number two, but I thought it was more about Steph finally getting over the hump and getting that finals MVP and proving that he is the done dot of the Golden State Warriors once and for all. It's about him. He got that championship in spite of Klay Thompson oftentimes in spite of Draymond Green, oftentimes, in spite of some of the young guys that couldn't make the court in the playoffs like a James Wiseman. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga had, you know, minuscule minutes oftentimes in the playoffs. This was about Steph Curry and his phenomenal play. I thought Steph was the number one storyline coming out of the finals. Kevin Durant was two, and then Wiggins' play was three. I see what KD said. I think my problem with Kevin Durant, I like KD. Like, when KD talks, I respect him. I think me and Kevin Durant would get along perfectly fine if I was a friend of his. I actually do know a couple people that are friends with Kevin Durant. I've never met Kevin Durant. I would love to meet KD. But I think Kevin Durant um, is, a, is a pretty cool dude. He's just a normal guy that's just so happy to be one of the greatest scorers in the history of NBA basketball. My only thing is every, time, every now and then you can catch Kevin Durant in a lie. You know, he'll lie. There is a comment that you could go back and look up where Kevin Durant on Instagram, he flatfoot said he would not be rooting against the Warriors. And then now to hear him say this comment, it's like, bro, which one is it? You oftentimes put your foot in your mouth, which us humans, we do. But he doesn't have to do that. These are comments that he doesn't have to make. And again, Kevin Durant 
saying that the Warriors championship was mostly about him. I don't believe that one. If the Brooklyn Nets win a championship this year, I think the number one storyline will be Kevin Durant. The number two storyline will be Kyrie Irving. Way down the list, there will be a storyline of Kevin Durant getting it done without the Golden State Warriors, that regime, that dynasty there. But again, I don't look at that as a negative for Kevin Durant or the Golden State Warriors. It's the reality of NBA basketball. They won with him, and they've won without him. It is a part of his legacy and the Warriors' legacy.